We do have a chance for some snow tonight here along the Wasatch Front. But first, I wanted to start with this fantastic picture that I just saw in our Facebook group. Susan just posted this. This was the Virgin River today near Laverkin. Blue sky after the storms that rolled through. Thank you so much for posting this in our Facebook group. If you haven't joined yet, we would love to have you. It's called Utah's Weather Authority. We're doing weather discussions, forecast, your pictures, your videos, your questions. It's a great way to connect with the meteorologist here at Fox 13. Right now, our temperatures here in Salt Lake 27, Ogden 25, Provo currently 22 degrees, and we have a very chilly night ahead. And we also have some snow starting to come down here across northern Utah. What we're starting to see is fairly organized with this band of snow uh, about from Snowville, let's call it, all the way over the Great Salt Lake west of, or just east of the Wendover area, west of Dugway and Grantsville and Tooele and Cedar City and all that good stuff. So we still have dry conditions for most of I-80 through Tooele County right now, but our temperatures are really going to be cooling tonight. We have clear sky across southern Utah. When we have clear sky, those temperatures just really get into a free fall. So it's 13 in Cedar City right now for what it feels like, 11 in Milford, 7 below for Bryce Canyon, 8 below for Evanston. So what I'm saying is we're really cold here across the state, and with this chilly air mass in place, any snow that that we do get will stick to the ground very quickly. Now, once our sun rises tomorrow morning around 730, we're going to end up with the snow diminishing for most of the valleys. We could see a few flurries throughout the day, but overall our best chance is going to be overnight. So tomorrow morning you might need to set your alarm a few minutes early just in case we end up with some crashes and extra traffic in the morning. It'll be a chilly start in the upper teens and then across the state at 7 a.m. single digits for Park City, Evanston and Logan. And then we'll have those temperatures for St. George in the 20s tomorrow morning. But most of the Wasatch Front, Provo, Twila, Salt Lake, Ogden around 15 to 20 degrees. Then by tomorrow afternoon, It'll be close to 25 to 30, so it'll be another cool day tomorrow. And then as I show you future cast, I want to just give you the idea of the storm pattern for tonight. A very weak system, pretty moisture starved moving through, so really not going to see too much out of this. Now, the thing I do want to point out is any snow that we do see again, I want to reiterate, it would stick to the ground and create slick conditions. So this isn't any major storm by any stretch of the imagination, but it could have some impacts on the morning commute tomorrow. We'll have dry conditions the next few days. Then by next Thursday, our wind starts to pick up out of the south, which will allow us to warm up. And then our next chance for some storms end of next week. So future snow out of the system, mainly the northern third of the state, and we're going to see for the valleys zero to two inches of snow and for the mountains one to five inches of snow. St. George near 50 degrees for Friday, Saturday, close to 60 for Sunday, Monday, closer to 70 to 75 towards the middle to end of next week. So warmer weather on the way. Salt Lake 30s through Saturday are close to it. Low 40s for Sunday, warmer next week.